Welcome back to Management Decision Tools. So in this final section, we want to discuss uh, an example that would uh, require us to practice some of the uh, tricks about binary constraints that we discussed in the previous video. So in this example, um, the Metropolitan Microwave, right, uh, presumably a, a large uh, electronic store, is thinking about <clears throat> opening up a new shop and of course, with its connection to other brands and products, it's able to choose uh, a list, a short list of potential products to carry. So they have come up with uh, seven potential products. Should they carry all? Yeah, I mean, the usual normal decision is just, hey, why don't we have all of them, right? However, it is um, going to cost uh, resource and not just that, resource in terms of uh, money initial investment because you have to buy demo, dem, demonstration products, set up the booths, uh, have brochures and maybe pay salaries for staff to be trained and all that. You need money. You need uh, the floor space right? that you pay monthly rental over. So it's going to be expensive. You want uh, the best return for the kind of investment. The expected return. And uh, here, this number is based on the initial investment. So if you if you have high in uh, high return percentages like fourteen point one percent, right? This is uh, going to be multiplied by the initial investment. So if you are chasing after percentages, maybe fourteen point one is is nice. But then multiplied by two thousand, the absolute dollars that you are getting back <laughs> may not be a lot. So and and then furthermore, in this product, say video games, you cannot put in more investment so this is about it you're putting in more uh, for example the nature of the business is such that you you just uh, are unable to attract more returns anyway so you're just uh, pouring money away so given all these numbers and the understanding of the ground issues like that question is uh, which one do we uh, show which one do we try to sell we are unable to take up all seven and these seven are the shortlisted ones so what should we do well we have seven questions isn't it should we or should we not do tv vcr should we should we not do tv projection tv vcr you know so we have seven questions they are all binary in nature so straight away we have seven decision variables and the company has other uh, concerns well how do these concerns arise of course you can join a meeting and the boss says so right oftentimes there are also policies these are the sources that says you know what you know from my experience our company decided that uh, you cannot stock projection tv unless you stock either tv vcr or tv okay so it doesn't matter which brand because of the nature because stock uh, uh, projection tvs are bulky they take up a lot of uh, uh, high current electricity so you need special wiring if you do that, then you might as well also do TV, VCR or TV, you know, something like that. So the company has certain uh, stan standard uh, policy guidelines that you have to adhere to. And that's where all the constraints come in, in influencing uh, what or when you must do certain things. Now, they will not stock both VCR and DVD. Mm, that sounds like you cannot do i and j at the same time isn't it yeah so that is easy we have learned that this is just mutual exclusivity just add the two variables less than equal to one finish they will consider stocking video games only if interesting pay attention to this word only if so earlier on we learned that there is this conditional constraint right where there's a dominant one xj it depends on the dominant one xj less than equal to xi so we talked about that and this sounds like it, right? Because only if means unless you carry uh, TV, you stock TV, don't even think about video games. And can we say another way? That is, if you stock TV, then you may consider, that's exactly the word they use, then you may think about, that means you may or may not stock video game. On the other hand, if you don't stock TV, the implied meaning is don't even think about video games, right? And that's exactly our conditional constraint. So again, if we have never talked about the, the tricks that we used in the slide earlier, 
this might take us some extra time to think about in uh, exam conditions, in preparation of our presentation, in whatever. But now it becomes very simple. So we spend our time, we move on to uh, more con uh, difficult concerns or we spend more time to explain to customers and that will be more value added. Finally, the company wishes to introduce at least three product lines out of seven shortlisted items. That's easy, right? At least, so we know how to, how to do that. Then, of course, the company has budget constraints, resource limitation, that's easy. Uh, further constraints, the area, right? So again, that's resource limitation, very easy. So formulate a program to maximize overall expected return which is the percentage times the money invested. So again, that is not difficult so long as we understand what this customer wants. So straight off, we define seven decision variables. Should we, should we not for the seven products, right? So that's easy. Yep. And then we move on to multiply the percentage of each line, right? From past database that we collected multiplied by the number of thousands of dollars that we uh, are required to invest in. This, this investment usually is a combination of um, <clears throat> negotiation with the supplier. They, they want you to put your money where your mouth is, to buy some of their products first, to stock up inventory, to uh, send people for training and so on and so forth. So you need to have that initial dollars. So we maximize the sum total, which will give, give us thousands of dollars, which is good because we want to increase that. We write down the easier ones, uh, such as money constraint, space constraint, right? So they, they are easy. And recall that uh, the XIs, they are binary variables. So they are either zero or one. Yeah. If we decide not to carry X1, uh, I think that's TBVCR, then we don't even spend a single dollar of the $6,000. Make sense? Yeah, we, we have decided not to carry that. Then not a single dollar will be spent on the initial investment. So again, the XIs here act like a switch. It's either zero or full amount, 100% of the required initial amount. Same thing goes for, for space. If we decide not to, not to do X1, then zero square feet. Right? There's no halfway mark. There's no 50% of X1. Yeah, okay, so the binary decision variables come in here very um, <clears throat> realistically and appropriately. So next is stock TV projection TV, that is X3 uh, projection TV, only if we are stocking uh, X1 or X2 TV VCR, that means a combo with video cassette recording, or just plain TV, usually a more luxury kind of uh, setup or bigger TV. Right, so uh, either or, either or. So long as you have one of them, then you may think about stocking uh, projection TV. Yeah. So, so projection TV is kind of inferior to these two decisions. Right now, yeah. So if we don't stock TV VCR and you also are not stocking TV, then you add up to zero. And the only way that X3, that is projection TV can be possible is to be zero then zero is less than equal to zero. Otherwise, it can never be satisfied. So we are forcing X3 to zero whenever TV, VCR, and also TV, they are both zero. And so long if, as one of them is one, or both of them are one, and they add up to two, right? That's okay. So X3 being binary, it cannot go up to two. So uh, it can be one or zero, both numbers of which are still less than uh, two. So that's okay. So in fact, uh, this works out well, and the constraint expresses our, our kind of a dual consideration. These two are the major dominant factors, and projection TV is the kind of an inferior factor, right? Depending on the larger ones. Again, we make use of the binary nature and also the numerical nature a lot. So one means two, but one also means quantity one, so that one plus one becomes True, and that's no longer binary. Uh, but we kind of um, <laughs> mix it in such a way that is uh, going to be advantageous in describing our needs. Okay. All right. The rest are just uh, kind of straightforward applications of our earlier slide that summarized uh, all the tricks that we 
tend to do when we have binary variables such as uh, mutual exclusivity okay so uh, we just basically copy and paste from the template is it possible that we neither stock VCR nor DVD players answer is yeah of course because that may reduce the overall consumption of uh, investment dollars and the shop space so this is permitted and it's still mutual exclusivity um, do video games only when you stock TV so stock TV is larger so X2 is bigger video games X6 is inferior remember the factory and the warehouse story I shared with you yeah so uh, TV is the factory here the dominant one video game think about video games only if you have uh, decided to stock TV so conditional constraint uh, we want to choose at least three out of seven so greater equal to three the variables are binary remember that the variables must be non negative huh? so don't forget xj uh, non-negative or greater equal to zero so that's important to state both to express the fact that we want both xj to be non-negative and also binary with one being the uh, positive logic sense that is one means stock zero means don't stock and then what happens we will carry this uh, entire model to Excel and we see what happens so in Excel uh, we have this table implemented all right so we port in all the coefficients uh, multiply the expected return by the by the decision variables to see if we are selling that line of products or not and finally when all are set we can run solver all right notice that we require the values here to be binary so that uh, they act like a big switch do or don't do there's nothing in between because that may, may mess up everything so we now uh, make sure that the variables are non-negative and then we solve and solver found an integer solution within tolerance which means that the final answer is that we stock TV VCR we stock projection TV which is okay right because we must stop do this if we do either TV VCR or TV yeah? and we stock DVD players and cannot stock VCR therefore right they are mutually exclusive and uh, the computer decided or solver decided not to do video players nor home computers nor VCRs nor TVs and doing so will get us four thousand two hundred and sixty one dollars and that would be the maximum that we can the most optimal highest return that we can ever hope for if we only uh, have these seven products to choose from and have to adhere to all the conditions and constraints given yeah okay so see how uh, powerful this outcome is it not only tells us what to do in the decision variables and also what is the expected performance being the optimal performance at the same time okay so very very powerful uh, very very useful and uh, definitely we should do more if uh, at all possible right so more of these in our business encounters